so four hour candles, right? What time is it? It's six o'clock, right? So the last four hour candle that popped up was five o'clock, right? Well, that was during the morning. Four hour candle. This four hour candle is black. Promises says you put your money on black. You see how it's been going down this whole video as in like when I started a few videos ago and saw the recession. You see right there? The price is tumbling down. The four hour candle is black. The last four hour candle, which would have been from like one o'clock to five, was a white candle, you know, getting um smaller. And this can that four hour candle before that was like this white candle that just, you know, got really small and went black. Um, right before and then went a little bit more white right and then in between some more you know white candles right so you see that was the friday by day of four hour blocks of candles you see that was the friday by day concept i was talking about boom now let's go to where we are now the current four hour candle is black people we are betting on the negro right now the negro is winning you see you in this four hour chart all right, so I 14 is under 30 would be good, basically, but when that 15 minute one hits, that's what we're going for. And when that one hits, if the, um, these are the 15 minute candles represented within that four hour candle. So this five o'clock PM four hour candle is the first four hour candle of the daily candle which starts at five o'clock then that's what that means so the daily candle starts at five o'clock your daily candle starts at five o'clock we will show you right now we will show you the daily candle look at the baby daily candle that candle is going to be so big and black in the morning if you bet white or red i mean if you bet white or green it's gonna be quite mean for you, man. Let me tell you. In real talk, you see the daily candle right there. The net price level is a smooth 17.64. You see that? Can you see that? 17.64. The boom. The daily candle that just started at five o'clock is a black candle. minute candle is now white oh my goodness everybody should switch over right now and buy it is buying it's 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 buying right if at any point during this game you fall for one of those you're a dead man walking and um we've warned you because we've been warned before and that's just how it goes it's really more like the rules are very simple. When did you learn them? When did you learn that they were not to be disobeyed? And when did you start obeying them as much as you should? Which is all the time. This is really all there is to this game. It's like, how long did it take you to realize that the RSI 14 on the daily 15 minute and 4 hour and hourly are not to be with and therefore gone against? Because now you're going against the concept of the profit. Want to bet on this 15 minute candle only because this 15 minute candle matches the four hour candle, which matches the daily candle. We did not check, we did not check the hourly, so for just research and posterity's sake, we just checked the hourly. Black, right? So if you were like seven years old and you couldn't even really write and read yet, if I just, if you just knew your colors, I could just ask you, which color do you see the most? And then just write down what charts you saw those colors on. Therefore, when you learn how to read, you can double back and figure it out. But at least, you know, you know somebody told me in these charts, look at this chart, right? You can read and he's like, okay, this chart, right? You know, one hour chart, what's the color? Boom. Okay, four hour, what's the color? Boom, daily, what's the color? Boom, what's the color? And, um, 
it's like that. It's like a majority concept at that point. If you're too young to read or write and do math in class, then it's like, okay, what color do you see the most? Right? Okay. And then just get them to memorize the chart that they saw the color on. So then it's more like that. Okay. Because what I show at this point, we can just start doing documentaries and quotes on Stephen Cohen. You need to realize who Stephen Cohen is because he got tripped up with insider betting, but he didn't have to even do that because he was a tape reader, so I don't understand what his problem was. Really tripping, like he got tired of staring at the tape, I guess. But this is crazy, Stephen. Like, what's your problem? Like, you know, but anyway, it's all good. We're going to show the world what you could have been. How about that? Boom, 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 right? In the stomach, right? Body shot from Spence. Oh, it pours him down. Oh, you hate to see it, right? All right, look. So, uh, that's just what it is, man. The hourly has spoken black. The four hour has spoken black. The 15 minute has spoken white. But we saw big black right before, right? So we're not necessarily convinced this white is only white for right now, right? It's like just because she lifts up her skirt a little bit doesn't mean you're gonna hit it, nigga. You feel me? Like, what are you thinking about? You know, I'm just saying, like, majority. So one hour, four hour daily, and. 15 minute right and after that you're pretty much good to go because it's like if they all match we're good so that's what you're looking for real quickly do they all match and then from there that's where you're going and then from there you're going there until the parameters of you know 30 and 70 you know for your you know um selling down until your buys you know from 70 to 30 where you buy at 30 and sell at 70 so 70 is your sell 30 is your buy buy your bid your bull your blue button your white candle your green candle right black candle red candle red button bears ask price highs that's your sales then sell the highs at 70 on rsi when the one minute rvi is crossed like that under zero under zero but like that but actually crossed on the one minute when the one minute rsi 14 is under 30 matching or over 70 matching the 15 minute at that same parameter then you get so just to see what it looks like on destiny.com silver right there silver spot us dollar 17.9 you see how it says right there on the website 99, right? That's one of the prices. Which price is it? Which price is it? It's 99. Which price is it? I don't know. 99. It's kind of close to both. I would say the right price. But this is 98 and 00, zero right? But it says 93 right there. So it's just like a price in between both. It just gives you like a price in between both. Real talk. I guess that's what it's doing for you. That's the price in between both. That's the in between price. Oh my goodness. One price is above that, the other price is below. That's crazy. That's pretty good. I get it now. It took me a minute. You saw that. Come on, you love it. Alright, love to see it. So, that's basically it, man. It just started up. It's 30 minutes. And you see how that analysis took 30 minutes. It took 30 minutes to make those videos with this analysis. It's been in the trade for 30 minutes. And, um,. It's definitely going up from um, when we uh, got in. So, let's see. And I was able to get into another trade. at 60 just in case because it is close though not sure how long it's gonna take but now what that can do is bring us that can bring us 40 that can bring us about 40 twice 80 plus this 10 put us at 90 and we're that will sorry Sorry, sorry, I was looking at the screen myself. Okay, boom. First trade is in profit. Now we got into another trade because it went up. 
and we weren't drilled into going up with it. No, we're gonna sell that. Like we know it's going down. So that's a discount. That's we finally get it. We always called it a discount. You know, um, if the market is going down, then when it goes up a little bit, that's just a discount on the daily trend, which is going down, bro. You wanna sell the highs in the downtrend. You wanna buy the lows in an uptrend, bro. The low being our side thirty and a fifteen minute. The highs being the ass, the 15 minute over 70, bro. The silver, we have two cells in. Let's let you look at our parameters for both of them. So that's going to be 98 minus 60. That's going to be 30, basically. We're going to have to 98, yeah. 98, boom. Okay, we're, we're getting there, bro. So thank God we were able to, thank God we didn't get into two trades at the same time, so take that as a lesson, first trade is that one, wait, 30 minutes, yeah, space two trades, 30 minutes apart, I always wanted to incorporate that into my philosophy within the last few years, last year, just wait, not point twos off rip, do, a, you know, do a point ten, 30 minutes at a time, every 30 minutes, just do another one, basically, real talk, like a systematic fire, like every 30 minutes, I'm gonna open a round, boom, I'm going to fire around every 30 minutes. So now at this point, we're just going to hold this. You see this first trade we placed at the 18 point mark is uh, 29, right? Boom. Just a little bit lower than that at the 17.98 mark, we got into that one. So it looks like the second one is, you know, obviously lower. But <clears throat> yeah, so we were able to catch the uh, second one closer to the price of the first one. So now, you know, um, you know, so... It's crazy. So we're about to go, you know. It's like once this money pops up, bro, I can just go and, you know, go somewhere, bro. So. No, man, that shit's crazy. Alright, so that's it, man. You just saw this, you know, about 30 minutes is. So look at this, so 50 cents. We're getting there, baby. It's like we finally get it. I like, never go against the daily trend, man. The daily candle is black. The 15 minute candle is black. The majority of the 15 minute candles are black. The 15 minutes candle slide is black. The daily candle slide is black. The four hour and hourly candle slide is black. The one hour, four hour daily, and 15 minute candle itself is black. You know, this 15 minute candle kind of, you know, discounting basically giving you a discount so we're waiting for this to you know actually go down so we'll see what happens if it you know shoots up it is what it is but it's like that's what we would think every single you know uh sunday and then go up with it not really realizing it sunday is going to continue the sell that already was triggered from friday's buy day when friday's buy day expires that will trigger the 15 minute downslide of candles the 15 minute red candle slide and that was going to trigger this down to the RSI 15 minute of under 30 after reaching above 70. And from here, we have it set up. Leave these trades alone now. We are totally leveraged out. We are good. And we're just going to sit that out. We took 10 US dollars and put it into an Australian US dollar account. And we were able with that to get into two trades in the daily at the best prices we can get. So, and only in the direction of the you know, RSI gain, which is from now, which is now from over 70 to under 30. So it's like, if you just got here, it's like, yo, what game are we playing? We're playing from 70 to 30. All right, wrong jersey, nigga, wrong jersey. Hey, 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 red, nigga, red, nigga. Hey, blue's later. Hey, put the blue in your pocket, nigga. Hey, nigga, hey, 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 put the blue in your pocket. We're going to pop them later. Oh, yes, the best game ever. What side are we on? Both, but for now, it's red. Oh, we're about to double cross them. Oh, no. <laughs> Only meaning we didn't get double crossed by this. Oh, yeah, we got to do it. Ah! All right, that's how it feels. So we're going to get out of here. It is what it is. At this point, we just pray for the best, man. We did what we could. We could have waited a little bit longer and got a better price. Right? That whole fluctuation, we could have caught that. Catch the fluctuation. Don't fall for the fluctuation. Catch the fluctuation. Oh, it's fluctuating. Catch it. That's what that means. It's fluctuating. Catch it. We showed you how to isolate the trend. So when it's fluctuating in another way, catch it. Catch it. It's not a real fluctuation. Don't worry about this. It is Sunday. We are waiting into the RSI 
That's the hourly. It's the RSI, the 15 minute. It's back to 45 where it was when we started. So I could have waited and caught it back to 45. But we have 15. So we see 15 minute candles going up. So it's like, yeah, it could go up and like mess with us. But that other candle you see, the wick where it stopped, it's just letting you know that that's where it got weak. And now the other candle, this present candle is just really trying to test where the previous candle got weak. And it was trying to eat up this entire huge candle. So instead of falling for this candle or this candle, because it's not a candle from the bottom of the chart, which would be 300 points or 30 pips or 35 cents, 350 points or 35 pips below this price because we are zoomed in on the 15 minute candle. This is a jug. We would want to wait for it to go here, then here, then here, and then it's like, oh, snippity snap, because it's going to shoot, zoom, zoom. It's going to like zoom, zoom, and crash everything that doesn't correlate with this correspondence. Crash, crash, everyone's jumping out of the window now, Bob. Oh, phew, we got it now. The suicide rate just went sky high. And it's like they weren't even sad. They were all smiles and giggles two years ago, right? Boom, boom, didn't read the chart, right? Boom, boom, forgot about the RSI, huh? Boom, boom, where's my RSI? Boom, where's the RSI? Where's the RSI? Boom, where's the RSI? Where's the RSI? The RSI is 14 points above where it needs to be before I can do anything close to buying. So that's why candles are a fraud and a lie, and we can't wait for them to die a horrible death. We'll never fall for those candles again. Tell those candles to suck, suck. And if these candles kill us, then it's all good. But we've seen this so many times before without knowing what we were seeing. We were seeing yuck, yuck, really beaming. Chuck, chuck, it up, up, yuck, yuck. Oh, yeah. So it is what it is, but we're going to see what happens. But we're really going to stop watching this once we um, stop recording this. We're going to let it do what it do, but... It is what it is. If it shoots up, and I don't even care. It is what it is. I'm not falling for this, bro. I'm not about to fall for this. If anything, I know wait the first 30 minutes, you know, to get the best price or whatever. Really, it was the first minute. As soon as it opened, that was the best price. It hasn't even passed where it opened at. Real talk. Where it opened that would have been the high, which would have on the quotes page. It is shown on the quotes page. It opened up, bro. Right there, 18.045. You see, it's still there for 30 minutes. It's still been 30 points, 3 pips, 3 cents below where it is now. Now it's 4 cents. So we are going. And the low is still closest to the price. It's actually um, even. So we're about to go. They're talking over me. 